Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. We've been talking about strongholds. Strongholds. What is a stronghold? Well, it kind of speaks for itself. Stronghold. They're patterns that have been programmed into your mind. When you learn uh, to live a life independent from God, that's what happens. Our lives, uh, our minds have been programmed by the world. But once we come to Christ, we are a new creation in Christ, and uh, we have our minds transformed. Uh, not, and we're not going to be conformed to the patterns of this world now that we've come to Christ. We are a new creation. We've been rescued. We've been redeemed. We've been regenerated. The problem is that those lies uh, that uh, you believed in the past, uh, they have a stronghold on your mind. And that is what's happening. Um, the things that we believed in the past, uh, those lies that we accepted, uh, was, that has a stronghold on our minds, and it's keeping us in bondage. It's keeping us from being free. Uh, so reality is God's truth, and that's what we want to grab hold of. It's his truth uh, that sets us free. So every time you hear God's truth, the enemy is going to present you with a lie. He's going to present you with that old pattern uh, that you've embraced uh, before you came to Christ. Um, because his lies, they have a stronghold on your mind. And his lies are keeping you from being free. And we want to be free. People who refuse to face God's truth are in denial. And so there are these uh, mechanisms that we're going to use, that people use, uh, to uh, the enemies uh, puts on us so that we use these things to keep from uh, accepting the truth because he's implanted them in our mind. And one is denial and the other is this fantasy world that people live in. Here's how you know if you're living in, in this fantasy world. Well, is your family suffering because of your behavior? Um, are you lying to yourself and others about your behavior? Do you believe uh, there are things in this world that can make you whole? Uh, these are, when uh, we believe these sorts of things, we're, we're living in a fantasy world. Um, if your family is suffering because of the decisions you're making, um, then uh, your, the patterns of your thought life is not lining up with God. They should not be suffering because of you. So when you deny and fantasize, uh, then you're going to how to rationalize the lies that you're living. And that's what this lesson is, is about. This, this is another stronghold that, uh, that's being used and is to rationalize. Justify your bad behavior is what you're doing and uh, by rationalizing it. So when you rationalize your bad behavior, you try to justify it with logic, right? Uh, you uh, and do something that's uh, irrational, uh, something that hurts other people, and in your mind, uh, you rationalize it with your own personal logic that really makes no sense to nobody but you. So all you're doing is avoiding the truth, God's truth. God's truth uh, sheds a light on why we do what we do. Uh, God's light helps us to understand, uh, but uh, the enemy has deceived us into believing uh, that this truth is going to hurt us. No, the truth is going to set us free. In uh, 1 John 1.10, uh, the Bible says, if we say we have not sinned, then we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Uh, yes, we have all sinned and we continue to fall short, but it's the grace of God, his love uh, that sets us free. But if we're saying that we have not sinned, if we're trying to justify our behavior and rationalize it with, with logic, uh, then um, the Bible says we're making him a liar and his word is not in us. Only by faith in Christ can anyone be justified. Only someone born of the Spirit of God can enjoy the fellowship with him. Only those who are saved by grace through faith in Christ. If you are trying to rationalize your behavior, without walking in God's marvelous light, rationali ra rationalizing is a defense mechanism 
that you're using to justify your bad behavior. And Paul calls this a stronghold. When we try to use our own logic, our world's logic, <laughs> to justify what we're doing, join us on our next lesson as we look at, at another stronghold called displacement. This is when we take our frustrations out on other people. There's all sorts of mechanisms that we use to get by in this world. And uh, the Bible is calling these mechanisms strongholds. Uh, we are avoiding the truth because the enemy has implanted lies so strong in our minds uh, that well, we are defending uh, the lies. But uh, the truth will set us free. The truth is what we need. The truth allows, gives us the peace that passes all understanding. See, you know, God said, uh, Jesus said, in this world you will have trouble. For some reason, as Christians, we think that we should never have trouble. But you will have trouble. But the truth is, we have eternal life now. We have a Savior uh, that has rescued us uh, from eternal damnation. And that is a wonderful thing. And we should never be afraid of um, what this world can do to us. But be afraid of uh, anything that can uh, destroy your soul. Don't believe the lies, my friend. Recognize the strongholds. And the Bible tells us that it is the word of God that turns down these strongholds. Basically, it is truth that turns down strongholds. Thank you, my friends. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101.